Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Since 2011, thousands of inmates who normally would have spent their time in state prisons are now being sent to serve their time in county jails. And uh, here in Orange County, that means that many of those inmates are being released early onto the streets because of jail overcrowding. With us now to discuss the issue is Orange County Supervisor Janet Nguyen. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Now it's called AB 109 and uh, thousands of inmates coming here. And what effect are you seeing on our communities? Oh, we in Orange County alone, we've, we've seen an approximate 7% property crime increase. In some cities, upward at a minimum of 16%. Uh, the impact of AB 109, which is really is um, realigning or reshifting low level inmates from state prisons to the county jails. Uh, this is a fail policy. We have to put a stop to this policy before it gets worse. Um, in my district, there are cities that had 20, 30 percent increase in property crime. And so I've encouraged individuals, just as a good reminder, we live in safe neighborhoods, but um, because you have AB 109ers roaming around potentially, you know, your car, if you leave your cell phones or you leave your laptop in view or your iPad, guess what? It's going to be gone. And they do it pretty quick. Um, even if you just run into the supermarket for five minutes, it's gone. Um, and so, you know, the impact to the counties and the cities are drastic. And so we, from the county side, has been working uh, with our DA, with our probation, the sheriff, and the different um, local departments, I mean local, local cities, to try to work in and making sure that we get a handle of AB 109. And I mean, quite frankly, it is a force by the state of California to the counties. The uh, result of AB 109 has been contradictory in some of the statistics as far as what crime statistics show the effect has been. Why is that? Because we have not, up to now, we don't have a statewide standard to measure um, how, whether they're reoffending or they're not. And so there's been a lot of discussion statewide and all the agencies, plus with the governor's office, um, is how do we measure these individuals, whether they are not reoffending or whether they're reoffending. And so there's a lot of discussions, okay, how do you measure them? How do you, what is considered reoffending? What is considered not reoffending? Um, and, and that's where the problem is, is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an idea that, you know, really is the governor's trying to shift these prisons because they have an overcrowding of their jails. Guess what? Now they're overcrowding our jails. Now the reason it, these statistics matter because if you don't have clear statistics, you can't really do anything about it. You can't have a solution. What are some of the possible solutions to this problem? Well, first is we got to get onto a standard of how to measure, how to measure who's reoffending and what's not considered reoffending. Uh, we also got to get all the public agency, not just in one county working together, but countywide and statewide. Because some of these individuals will be there, they can be an LA County um, inmate and they're reoffending in Orange County. So counties and counties need to have a database that they can actually work and understand. And, Why and be can't able to there be a state database? Because they can identify who the uh, AB 109 inmates were and report to that instead of within the cities and the counties. Well, that's the problem is that because everything is happening at the local level, but there is not a statewide. So what do we do about this? Well, you know, first, you know, I'm hoping is that there will be a shift, hoping the legislator will eventually say, okay, stop AB 109, let's stop, let's step backwards, and let's find out how we're gonna find a solution and either get a statewide database, work with the local government, and then move forward, because right now it's a fail policy. Supervisor Jan Nguyen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.